Mheshimiwa Mmanga ameyasema hayo huko Makunduchi wakati wa kujadili kikao kilichowashirikisha walimu wakuu, masheha maafisa elimu pamoja na kamati za skuli za mkoa kusini Unguja. Amesema walimu wana nafasi kubwa katika kuhakikisha wanafunzi wanafaulu kwa kiwango kizuri na kuelewa matatizo wanafunzi wanaowasomesha. Nataka walimu kukumbuka taratibu za kazi, sheria za kazi, kanuni za kazi kwa kusomesha watoto wetu kwa mujibu wa kiwango kinachohitajika. Anaisomesha darasa la kwanza basi asomeshe kwa kiwango cha darasa la kwanza. Anaisomesha kidato cha nne asomeshe kwa kiwango. Na kiwango kinapatikana katika ile syllabus yenye ndio inaeleza naibu aliweza kikomo au scope ya usomeshaji. Tukwasomesha chini ya kiwango mara nyingi ndio hao wakati wa mitihani wanafeli. Na wakati mwingine watu wanaulizana kule wizara. Wizarani walimu na wanafunzi wanajisifu kama tumemaliza syllabus. Nao walimu hao wa shule hizo za wilaya ya Kusini wameahidi kuyafanyia kazi maelekezo waliopewa na viongozi wa wizara elimu. Wakati huo huo naibu waziri huyo amepokea walimu 16 kutoka nchi ya Nigeria ambao wamekuja Zanzibar kufundisha masomo ya science na hisabu ili kupunguza uhaba wa walimu katika masomo hayo. In this aspect the Ministry of Education appeal for continuing support for Nigerian teachers to work in Tanzania in general but particularly in Zanzibar in the areas of science subjects Naye mkurugenzi kutoka nchi ya Nigeria Mr Afolabi Aduni amesema wapo tayari kuwafundisha wanafunzi hao kwa kufuata sheria na kanuni zilizowekwa kwa makubaliano na serikali ya mapinduzi ya Zanzibar the minister, sir, I'm taking the floor once again to familiarize this gathering of what the technical aid corp program is all about because it is good to know where we are co co coming from so that um, we can be able to put in per perspective where we are headed. Um, the di director was established in 1987 to support and assist countries in Africa, Caribbean, and the Pacific. And we have been doing that ever since. Um, at the onset, the director was actually handing out funds to needy co countries to undertake this kind of support or assistance. But from 1993, the government of the Federation of Nigeria decided that it will now fill in the human resource gap of the recipient countries. And then that has yielded positive results since um, the scheme um, started on that note. The scheme, in addition to that, is in the fostering of the bilateralism between the countries we engage with, in this case, Tanzania, and in, uh, by implication, Zanzibar. Nikiripoti Fatuma Mzee wa ZBC.